A good morning from outside of a town called, man, I kind of forgot. <laughs> There's a town back there, I promise you. And I just want to, it's on yesterday's video. And uh, I just want to share with you last night's parking spot. This is BLM land. This is uh, National Monument land. And according to my public lands app, it's uh, managed by BLM. I had absolutely zero problems parking here last night. So, if any of you are curious as to the hassle-free quality of uh, public lands, well, this is it. All right, so the plan today is to go to a, another national park. Uh, I am maybe a half an hour outside of Escalante. So, perhaps, We'll go to Escalante today. Oh, and also, here's the update on the shower situation. I failed to find a truck stop yesterday after I passed the last truck stop off of the freeway. <clears throat> so, I ordered myself a RV style horizontal uh, propane tank off uh, Amazon. Looks like I got it used from uh, Amazon warehouse deals, which is just a returned item. And uh, at some point, I will be installing a shower probably on the outside of the bus. The shower head will be outside, water will be somewhere, propane tank will be under the bit, under the bus, kind of under this area. And then I'll just wire it back and stuff. And I already have a heater in the, the back storage area. A steep incline. We're at uh, mile marker 40 on Highway 12. By the way, a couple miles back there, plenty of uh, public land to park on, to boondock on, to camp for free. All right, so it's 10 a.m. I'm in the town of Escalante. I did find a place that has laundry and showers. But to tell you the truth, I've kind of had a lot of this dusty, dry state so far. I've been here, oh, I don't know, about a week. Uh, so I feel like I, I, I want to see something new. Uh, even though it is beautiful, there are a lot of national parks and things. I think I'll be doing some, just some driving today. Um, it'd be nice to get up uh, closer to uh, Idaho and have a you know change of scenery. You know, having these uh, double doors comes in handy for moments like this where you can see this is, I am in Escalante and I'm not quite sure how this works, but it's the Grand Staircase Escalante and basically there's different levels of erosion and earth from deposits. If you watch the other videos, you'll see over 255 million years ago was the bottom one. And then, more recently, uh, the top. So, I passed through there earlier. As you can see, the earth kind of naturally uplifts a bit, or maybe you can't see that because the lens is so wide, but just take my word for it. It all basically goes down into the Grand Canyon. And so, there's little tiers 
of earth and right here is the most beautiful because it's just so red but I mean the white is beautiful and then off in the distance you have layers and stuff it's just really cool so I am more towards the top I would say <laughs> it uh, I'm probably about 8,000 feet up maybe 9,000 feet maybe 8,500 feet up the weather is vastly different there are tons of uh, aspen trees, quaking aspen trees off in the distance, and then some of the more uh, juniper trees uh, and some of the cedar trees, they stopped because it, it's become so cold. Um, so we are gonna continue on and see what else we can find. In my heart and your heart, the answer lies. Guys, so I found the most amazing boondocking spot. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna stay here, but um, check it out. I got some pretty cool neighbors right there riding up on some horses. It's gotta be one of the most beautiful horse rides I could imagine. Look at this background right here. There's my inverter screaming at me again. I don't quite understand why Keep screaming at me. I have I'm getting a lot of energy in. I feel like the batteries are full. And this little thing keeps beeping. That 2001 inverter. So maybe I should read the uh, manual with it. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. Well, good morning again. I had a successful four hour nap. <laughs> that was great. I'm also behind on edits and uh, I've been kind of running hard the past few days, week, I guess. Lots of driving. Um, Talked to a nice local guy here. By the way, there's a tent set up towards the road. And uh, I was asking him, you know, kind of about the area. And I said, oh, you know, I found a nice area. And he was saying this is kind of overflow for the uh, pay campgrounds. And basically, he said he was pretty cool with it, you know. And uh, the only thing that he, you know, as a local person, didn't really like too much is seeing people's toilet paper out in nature. So there are these things called Lugabaloos. It's essentially a toilet seat that goes on a five gallon bucket. If anybody's coming out to here or any remote place you don't have a, a toilet or you can go to whatever is close by, there's a gas station about a mile away or half a mile away or something. So if you do come out here, bring a shovel, Lugabaloo, <laughs> or just hold it. <laughs> um, this, uh, I did a little time lapse uh, right before this and the clouds just seem to just come and then just disappear and it's just it's so amazing over here off in the distance you can see the snow on the mountains up there and over here obviously there is no snow it's a lower elevation but it is gonna make for a spectacular spectacular sunset out here I'm gonna do another time lapse and uh, oh and by the way Brian from uh, Gooseberry Mesa, just uh, previous videos. He's pulling through the same area and I text him, I said, hey, I found this awesome boondocking spot and I gave him the, the dropped a pin and gave him the location. So he will be here in an hour. And he also is bringing curry. He made some the other day, so he has some leftovers. So I'm looking forward to some curry, good meal. And uh, yeah, I, I need to start editing. <laughs> There we go, looks like uh, Brian made it. He's uh, making his way out here on this uh, kind of sketchy dirt road. Not too bad, but he is towing a small vehicle, so it does make it a bit sm uh, harder. Let me uh, give him a hand real quick. All right, so Brian is all parked and set up, um, and I have some words of wisdom that I've learned from these full-timers over here. <laughs> 
is uh, BYO everything. I got myself a little cup, uh, which goes to my, uh, you know, my thing, coffee thing. And then, whoop, oh, I got a spoon there. Almost dropped it. And plates. Um, I do need to pick up a chair, because uh, Brian set these up. Pointed towards the main event over there, which is the setting sun and the beautiful red rocks over here. So let's go on in and see what kind of curry this fine man has cooked up. Hey, Poochie. All right, I'm coming in to take a peek at your curry. Sweet, go on in. All right, what do you got here? Voila, it's a mash of, oh, what is it? Garbanzo beans, chicken, potato, carrot, onion. Rice? Rice. Mm -hmm. yes. so, coconut? Coconut curry? Coconut curry, yeah. All right. You got it. And whiskey coming up. <laughs> awesome. That looks uh, like the most delicious meal I've, I've seen in many days inside a vehicle. I've been doing the, the cheap pre-made stuff. All these guys are making me rethink all my food decisions here. Here we go, we got Brian's famous, or maybe not so famous, probably infamous, uh, curry with, with some chicken, potatoes, uh, chickpeas, carrots, and rice. It's kind of a coconut curry, but how's this view right here? That's insane. <laughs> 